Hello, it's Lucy here and today Alan and Jane are going to be talking about mistakes to avoid when writing your personal statement. Okay, the first mistake that you should really, really avoid is mentioning a specific university. Your personal statement goes to every single university you apply for through UCAS. So spending your personal statement talking about why you really want to go to Oxford is completely pointless because this is going to get sent to the same personal statement will get sent to the other universities. So please do not do that. The second uh, common mistake and stupid mistake people make is not getting a proofreader and having spelling and grammar mistakes. Make sure you read through it several times and if you can, get someone else to look over your personal statement. Don't have silly spelling mistakes just because you were doing it too quickly. It will impact um, what the admissions officers think about you because clearly they'll think you're careless, you don't take your time, you're doing it in a rush. So please, please, please um, read through it a couple of times to make sure there aren't any silly spelling and grammar mistakes. And another mistake is to be too vague. Um, don't have big ad speak that you think makes you sound really clever and important when actually it's pretty meaningless. It's much, much better to use simple language that tells the admissions officer something about you and why you're interested in pursuing this subject and what you learn than having like big words that are kind of meaningless and quite generic, really. Um, you might think they sound good, but when I read a piece of work like that, I actually think the person's a bit stupid and don't really know what they're trying to tell me. So simple language is always better than complex language that doesn't mean anything. Um, another point is to make sure you're explaining yourself properly. Um, yes, the personal statement is very short, you only have 4,000 characters, um, but you do want to take the time to tell the admissions person what it means that you were in debate club or you did this extra project. You want to talk about the skills you learned when you were doing this, what you went to do after, what you think, why you think it's useful to mention this. It's not supposed to be like a CV where you've just got bullet pointed accomplishments. You need to explain why this is important to include in your personal statement and why it's important for them to know and is a reason why they should pick you. The other thing that you need to do and a common mistake is not structuring it properly. Um, a general structure you should have is an introduction explaining your initial interest in the subject, move on to how you explored this interest and this should be the main bulk that can often be separated into two paragraphs, maybe three, whatever you feel is suitable. Um, you then want to make sure you include your specific skills. Um, for instance, you want to say, I did history, this taught me how to analyse, write, communicate, etc, etc. This is useful because of this. Um, make sure you do mention that somewhere. I'd say don't spend too much time with that, but it is important to include. And then lastly, at the end, you kind of want to talk about why studying this subject at university is a good thing for you to do overall. So kind of mention maybe career goals or why you think it's just a useful thing in general to study at university. And again, don't spend too much time on that, but it rounds the whole personal statement out nicely. Um, another mistake you want to avoid is basically, particularly if you're doing something like finance or business or economics, is saying, I want to study this because I think it will get me a good career, make me lots of money, etc, etc, etc. Never ever say something like that. It might be the truth and they might know that or think that about you, but don't do that. Instead, you want to talk about what you find interesting about finance. Perhaps you read the news a lot, you found this particular thing really interesting. 
They, they want to talk about the intellectual side and not the fact you think you're going to get a good career from this. Um, I would say they're the main mistakes to avoid. Um, it's pretty simple and hopefully your teacher will be able to help you with this, but always be specific, get a proofreader um, and make sure you're explaining yourself properly and never say you want to study this because you'll get a good job. Avoid that. Um, I hope this helps. Otherwise, as always, please leave your comments and questions below. But that's it for now. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed our videos. You can click here for more and you can click right here to subscribe.